Welcome to Athabasca Productions Pokemon Black and White Walkthrough. Now, let us begin in our journey through the Unova region in the world of Pokemon. Hi there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon. Living and working together, we complete each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle is among each other is particularly popular, and it deepens the bond between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I happen to be a boy, as you may or not may not have figured out by now. And my name, for the sake of these walkthroughs, shall become Basque. Yes, so. You made me all go a nice name, and I'm like, I know, it's an awesome name. So, they're going to introduce yourself to your rivals, Charon and Bianca. And the moment you choose Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all these travels. That's right, befriend new people in Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon! Pokemon Black and White. Let the first chapter begin. Bask! I heard from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon? What's keeping Bianca? Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca! I've known for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, today's the day we can get a Pokemon from the Professor. I know, sorry Basque, sorry Charon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Basque's house, so Basque gets the first pick. Naturally. Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay Basque, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Now, if you are interested in catching Shinies, which I am not, really, save and just keep trying to see if your Pokemon is shiny or not. Odds are it's not. It may take you several hours, or when I tried it once, it took me several weeks of just jamming that, and it's really boring and... I don't believe it's worth it, but if you want to, that's your choice. Save, and then open the gift box. I brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper. Now... Sorry about that. Anyway, choosing your starter. Now this is a very important choice. 
So if you have never played a Pokemon game before, heed my advice. Oshawott is the water type Pokemon. It evolves into Samurott, which I've heard is a fairly strong Pokemon. It's just a water type. Tepig is the fire fighting type, which Game Freak came out with again. That's like three generations in a row. So come on, Game Freak, pick something new. And it evolves into Ember. Which, uh, it's okay. I don't think it's that good. And then Snivy, the grass-type Pokemon. Evolves into Superior, the grass-type Pokemon. And it's okay. I mean, it's a strong Pokemon. I don't really like it. But if you were to choose, choose between Snivy and my pick in this game, Oshawott. Oshawott. I've never used, but I've heard it's pretty cool. Samurott looks pretty cool, so we're gonna go with that. Yeah. Basque chose Oshawott. I'll take this Pokemon. This one's yours, Chillin. Never mind. I wanted Snivy from the start anyway. So Bianca's going to take the Pokemon you are weak to. And Chillin's gonna, I mean, Bianca's gonna take the Pokemon you are weak to. And strong, I'm sorry. Bianca is going to be weak to you. And Chillin is going to be strong to you. In starters. So, if you have Snivy, she'll have Oswat. If you have Tepig, she'll have Snivy. And if you have Oshawott, she'll have... Oh my god. Let me explain this, because I just epically failed. So, rival Bianca will challenge you to a Pokemon battle inside a house, which is stupid. So, let me try this again. Bianca is going to have the starter you are strong against. So if you have Snivy, she'll have Oshawott. If you have Tepig, she'll have Snivy. And if you have Oshawott, She'll have Tepig. So, basically, they're all level fives. And Oshawa is water type with the torn ability, attacks tackle and tail whip. Snivy is level five. Grass type overgrow ability, attacks tackle and leer. And Tepig is level five. Fire type blaze ability, attacks tackle and tail whip. None of them have any hold items. And basically all you have to do is tackle away. They'll, always, they'll be stupid and use Tail Whip and Leer. And you should have no problem with either of them. Even if you've never played a Pokemon game, just use Tackle. It's an attack move. It lowers their health until they faint and die and blow up in a fiery explosion. Not really, but that would be pretty awesome. Whoa! I am such an awesome trainer, no doubt. Will you take a look around? Whoa! Oh, what happened? Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. Um, sorry about your room, Bask. Yeah, that's it. You should be. So, cue my Pokemon, Charon. Right, let's go, Chillin. Let's go. I wanna... I'm mad now. They destroyed my room. Now I wanna beat you up. Nerd guy. You... I'm, I just wanna KO all your Pokemon and watch them go boom in a fiery explosion. Not really. They don't... Pokemon don't explode into fiery explosions. So I'm sorry if I gave you false hope. That is a new, that is not a new addition to 5th gen. Alright, so, Chirin is going to have the Pokemon you are weak to. So if you have Snivy, you'll have Tepig. Level 5, Fire type with the Blaze ability. Attacks Tackle and Tail Whip. If you have Tepig, he'll have, he'll have Oshawott level 5. 
Oshawott level 5, water type tool and ability, attacks tackle and tail whip, and if you have Oshawott, he'll have Snivy level 5, grass type, overgrow ability, attacks tackle and leer, none of them have any hold items, which doesn't make any sense, considering Chiron just held my po- held my po- healed my Pokemon. And again, use tackle, it dies. It might scare you, the scary music is scary, but you should have no problem. So, level up to level 6, nothing bad happens if you lose to your rivals, which it's possible to lose to your rivals if they like critical hit you or something, which stinks. And I hate that, that happened to me once, and I was down to one hit point. I was like flipping out, but I was okay. Well, my Wii console better not be scratched. Nope, it's not. Just gonna double check. But there's trash all over the floor. Look at the rug, it's all turned up and I can't even turn it back. It's like you are so powerless here. I can't push this plant or move the bed or even lie in my bed. I liked in third gen when you could lie in, or maybe it was fourth gen, when you could lie in your bed. Anyway, you're gonna see Bianca and Charon apologizing for your room, which I'm clearly mad at. But your mom isn't, she's like, I don't give a, I don't care. So, go and thank the professor, and go home, get out of my house. So, your mom's all sweet, and says that battles are lively, and I don't care if your room explodes, because I don't care, and she's gonna heal your Pokemon, and your dad is not here again, which I'm mad at, and she's gonna give you an x transivator which is like a cell phone, so she's basically saying, I don't care about your room, have a cell phone. Anyway, we shall exit and enter the town.